hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you're new to my channel please like subscribe on the red button and turn on your notification bell so that you can get any of my future upload each time i drop it so guys i'll be teaching you guys how to design church envelope so this is our working material and our working space so we're gonna choose the size of the work we'll be working with by going over here to this our properties bar okay click over here okay then look for the size we'll be working with which is envelope line this is one we'll be working with then click on it okay now this is it the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna fix it to page by zooming it so let's go to our standards bar and click over here okay you see where they write fix to page then click over there this is it now so let's bring this one here okay then bring this here okay now the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna apply our right angle over here so we're gonna go to our tools bra then come over here and double click okay you can see so let's drop our tools now okay then come down here here this is a uh, i don't know the name but this is actually the place you remove the outline so you come over here and right click to remove the outline okay now you can see now okay you can see you're not missing any outline in this one so you press p in your desktop to face to center okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna draw a a line with runa okay you can see this is a runa in the desktop okay because we're gonna need it let's prepare it first okay you can see this is a runa again okay okay shift small okay then here as well this is runa okay so guys the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna power click this our image inside this our working space okay by clicking on the image okay then right click over there you can see where the right power click then left click over there then come over to this your working space then left click over there you can see it has already carried it to here so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna edit this our working space now by going over here to click on this edit okay you can see our image here okay <coughs> okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna start implying our background inside this working space now okay let's start by okay let's draw this okay okay i think we need to reduce this our line over there okay let's go to finish then come back to this our line and bring it down small okay then bring another runner and put it over here okay now let's edit okay <coughs> okay now let's give this our rectangle a color okay maybe let's try this color or this color okay let's okay let's try this color or this color okay let's try this one then let's go and remove the outline by coming over here then right click okay so let's faint it by going over to this our choose bar okay then click on transparent you can see so let's reduce it okay okay let's leave it like this for now then let's drop the tools let's cover up this let's cover this up okay okay now the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna draw a cycle okay by going over here and click okay okay now this one is okay let's drop the tools then shift it aside then bring this our image okay then right click over there then come down to this our power click and click over there then come over to this our cycle 
and let's click okay you can see it has already carried it inside this our cycle let's shift it aside and increase the outline okay by going over to this our properties but you can see then click over here now let's select the size we may like it to be let's try it okay i think it is okay now let's power click let's edit this our image now by going over here okay then okay let's reduce it okay okay let's keep reducing it so that all of them we enter inside this okay okay i think it's okay like this okay now let's go to finish edit now this is it we need to give it a color okay maybe let's try this color no i think no okay let's leave it this color for now or maybe this let's leave it this one for now then let's change okay let's give it this color and give the outline this color okay okay the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna increase this so that it can cover these edges here over here okay then increase it by left clicking okay 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 this is it this is it okay let's bring it down small up okay we need to increase it a little bit okay okay i think it's okay like this then let's shift it inside no okay a little bit okay it's okay this way so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna draw another line okay by clicking over here then draw our rectangle over here okay then drop our tools okay let's bring it up small okay then shift it okay i think it's okay this way okay then let's give it a color maybe this color will be okay then click over here to remove the outline but we need to increase it by dragging it up a little bit okay then let's shift this up okay let's keep shifting okay i think it's okay this way so let's bring this to ship page up on your desktop okay now this one i think we need to bring it inside okay for now let's bring it inside okay then drop it like this so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna draw another rectangle okay then let's duplicate this by holding the control button in your desktop then press d in your desktop you can see let's bring it down here okay okay and drag it so that you can space the whole place okay i think it's okay like this so let's give it a color okay okay i think or uh, maybe let's give it this one or uh, this one okay we need to faint it okay let's go over to this our tools bar and click over here okay now let's transparent and see how it may look like okay 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 no okay let's leave it this way first for now let's bring this inside as well okay now the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna edit our power clicking so that we can see okay best before that let's draw another line over here okay by clicking on this our right angle okay then draw a right angle over here okay okay then shift it 
over here then the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna drop this then come over to this our shape tools and clean then come over here okay then come over here and click my mouse is come over here and click then convert to curve you can see then click over here then right click then come over to this or the link then the link you can see now this is the shape you want to use then go over I will, we have to go back now to drop our tools okay the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna change this thing because this is not the way it's gonna be so let's rotate it by changing okay okay let's keep rotating okay then let's bring it closer okay no i think it was okay like this so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna color it and change and remove the outline okay let's give it a color okay i think we should try this for now then let's remove the outline by going over here okay so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring this one up okay by shifting the page up then let's drag it up small okay this has to come up okay now this is it so let's bring this down as well okay okay now the next thing we're gonna do is that let's finish so that we can see what we have been doing then click over here okay 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 so the next thing we're gonna do now let's go back to this one finish our power clicking then by clicking over here then click here as well then we have to expand this our uh, work now so that we can get what we are doing okay this is it okay 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 now let's go back to this our finish edit and click okay now this is it so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring this our logo over here okay let's keep it here for now and reduce it a little bit keep reducing it okay keep reducing it i think it's okay like this for now okay let's place it here okay then the next thing we're gonna do now is that we start implying our our test okay so this is our test now let's increase it so that you can see it more clearly okay okay so the next thing we need to do here now is that we need to break this test apart so that we can make use of them in different places okay and how do we break it apart okay you hold you click on your test then hold the control key in your desktop to break it apart you can see now it has already been break apart so let's start with this first one over here then let's change the color maybe to black first so that we can see it okay now this is one we're gonna start with okay so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna start with step by step okay so we're gonna break this word or this test apart again now okay by going over to this okay then let's click then enter in your desktop okay then drop this and control k to break it apart okay okay the same thing is applicable here you enter control k to break it apart so let's start with this first okay let's increase this first and change it to uppercase okay let's go to our test okay 
come down to our chain to case and click okay now come over here to our upper case and click then click okay now you can see it okay this is it so we have to give it a color maybe let's give it this okay then the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna give it outline as well maybe yellow or white okay white is okay so we're gonna change the font character by going over to this our properties bar and click on this okay okay now let's go down to see if we can get any font or beautiful one as that okay i think we should use this this is one we have been using before okay let's use this one so what we're gonna do next now is that we're gonna i think it's okay like this or let's draw it a little bit okay then let's shift it okay and move it up small okay okay i'm trying to face it okay let's reduce it by going over here let's just click 25 okay i think it's okay like this so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna imply we're gonna imply a shadow in this work now in this particular heading here so we're gonna go to our tools bar then come down over here you can see shadow tools then click on it then come over to this our work okay and click over here then drag it and go like this okay okay you guys are seeing what i'm doing now i'm trying to align it in order okay i think it's okay like this okay let's drop the tools and face the page by clicking over here okay okay this is it so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring this one over here as well okay and change it to title case by going over to our test then click on this then click on title case okay this is it and you have to give it a color maybe let's give it Mm, okay let's give it this or this okay let's give it this the next is to change the font character by going over here okay this 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 okay you guys can see what i'm doing okay let's change it to area black or area so that it's being in Italian. okay this is okay now let's increase it let's shift it up okay it's okay this way so the next thing we're gonna do now is i'll bring this one as well and place it over here too okay and change the color maybe to blue or purple okay okay let's leave it this way i think let's leave it this way for now and again we need to change the font the font character and cost uh, font title so we're gonna go over to this our test come down to change to case then click over here then click ok ok so we're gonna complete this our bracket is not complete ok i think it's ok like this ok ok Let's change the font character by going over here. Okay, let's leave it. No, let's change it to another font. Let's leave it this way. Okay, I think it's okay this way. 
so the next one we're gonna imply here is that okay we're gonna bring this one as well okay and place it over here then give it a color okay let's increase it a little bit let's give it another color okay i think this should be okay let's use this for now okay okay you need to remove this you need to enter it and control k okay then let's change it to a package by going over to this our test and click okay then come down to this our change to case okay then title case okay now this is it okay you have to change the font character by going over here as usual then look for the font you want to change it to okay okay it's hanging okay anything for the font you may like okay okay I'm trying to get a very nice font okay let's try this first let's leave it this way first okay let's increase it a little bit then bring it down small okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna import we're gonna imply this one as well this is supposed to be invite invite okay so it should be v i okay invite okay now let's increase it a little bit okay i think we should reduce this a little bit okay mm -hmm. Um, control Z okay okay don't mind my mouse let's shift it okay let's change the font character by going over here okay let's try this let's change another font okay let's try this okay I think this one is okay let's use this one please don't mind me then let's change this we need to increase the size of this particular one now so let's go over here okay okay no okay and it should be capital letter by going over here change to case upper case okay you need to reduce this it's too much okay go back here you know 24 text is 24 is okay okay i think it's okay that way then let's change this one to upper case as well okay let's drop the tools okay and reduce it a little bit then bring it closer here okay we need to reduce this or we change the font character let's reduce it by going over here let's use 18 okay then bring it over here okay then shift this one over here now the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring another test okay this one in particular over here then let's change the color as well we need to change the color of this maybe it's red or black okay let's click over here let's leave it like that for now so let's bring this over here okay then increase it okay you need to enter it. 
okay then drop the twos and break it apart as well okay let's bring it over here first then change it to title case by going to this tiles okay come down to this change to case okay then come over here title case and click ok now this is it so we need to change the font character as well so we have to go back here okay then let's keep rolling down to check the size the font we may like okay it's hanging okay let's use this I think it's okay then the next one we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the font character the color because this one is not showing at all okay let's use this we need to change this font it's not that okay it's not that okay at all let's keep rolling down to see if we can get a better font okay hope you guys have seen what i'm doing i'm looking for a good font okay okay hope you guys have seen what i'm doing i'm searching for a good font okay seems like it seems like we can use any font so okay we have passed the font okay this font i mean like us to use let's see how it looks let's see thanksgiving this is not the actually the font i want to use but let's put this first okay let's put it first let's reduce it a little bit okay let's see let's increase this or reduce this a little bit okay then place it over here okay we can see reduce it so then before that let's leave this for now like this so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring this one over here then increase it so that we can see what we're working with okay then you have to click over here to enter it then control k to break it apart then bring this one over here okay let's keep it aside first then bring this one over here and change it to uppercase by going over to this our test okay then come down here then click uppercase okay now this is it let's bring it over here okay so we have to change the font character by going over here okay i think we should use impact for this okay okay this is it now let's increase it okay okay let's reduce it a little bit okay this is it now so we need to change the color the color maybe let's give this you know it's too shouty but the white is okay let's leave it the white is okay i think okay maybe i should change this to maybe this color let's try this color and see okay let's leave it this color okay so let's bring this our team okay and change it to title case by clicking over here then come down over here okay then we have to we need to internalize it and change the font character by going over here okay 
I think let's use this. Then bring it over here. Okay. Let's see. Let's reduce it a little bit. Okay. Let's keep reducing it so that you can enter here and be visible. Okay. Okay. I think it's okay like this. So we need to color it. Maybe let's give it which color will be okay. I think we need to change this color. It's not visible. Let's try black first. Let's leave it like this first, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is that we need to we're gonna reduce this our our rectangle over here. So we have to go back. It's too much. I think it's too much. So we have to go back so that this one will have a little space. So we have to go back to this one part, like edit part, like okay. Click over here, then click here and reduce this more. Too small no it's too much okay let's leave it this way then drag this inside okay then click on our finish edit okay i think we should leave it this way for now so the next one we're gonna use now is this one let's keep it this side then and complete this bring it down up a little bit okay then bring this one down as well this one okay no it's too much okay uh -huh. i think it's okay this way okay let's leave it this way i think okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring this our test here this one in particular okay we're gonna bring it over here and we need to break them apart because this is date venue and time so let's increase it okay and change the color maybe let's put this so that it will be visible then let's come over here sunday 16 22 august okay then let's click over here and enter click over here also and enter not here click at the back of this time and enter okay now this is it the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna break them apart okay we're gonna break these ones apart by control k in your desktop okay now let's bring this one over here and change it to title case by going over here okay change to case title case okay this is it now let's bring it over here okay let's bring it over here then enter it give it let's give it a a change of maybe color on let's change the font character first okay now going over here let's use area black or time room mass okay let's see this No. No. Let's try another. Maybe let's. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for a font that will look good on it. Let's use this. Okay. I think this will be okay. Then let's reduce this a little bit. Okay. Then you need to change the dates. Maybe let's put this at the dates. Okay. Then drop this and bring this one as well and place it over here and change it to title case by clicking here come down here okay title case okay now this is it 
let's use the same font character over here okay then reduce it okay let's remove this okay so let's drop this and bring this our time over here okay and change it you have to change this our time to title case by clicking over here okay title case this is it they have to use another font as well this then reduce it okay i think it's okay this way as you can see this this one is now going outside it has already passed the line we drew here so what we need to do now is that we need to adjust these ones up okay then first of all let's start by reducing this particular one we have to go back to our power click okay then so go to edit okay and click on this let's reduce okay i think it's okay okay then let's see okay what let's group this okay and shift it up okay let's bring it okay okay now the next thing we're gonna do okay oh we need to change the corner as well all of these colors okay you know this is not what i want to do okay let's click on this our test okay then click over here at the back of this sunday and highlight okay then change the color maybe to black or white maybe white let's try white first let's drop this and see no white is not even okay at all okay let's try black first okay let's change this august to title case okay let's shift it okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring this one in here as well then let's change the color maybe to blue first okay then we need to change it to title case by going over here then click on the change to case okay you see okay so we need to enter this by clicking over here enter in your desktop now this is it then come over here okay and center it you need to be in center so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna change okay let's place it first okay let's bring it over here first then the same thing is applicable here let's bring it over here then change the color let's put it to this corner first okay then you have to enter it on your desktop okay then come over here and center it okay this is it now the next one i'm gonna do now is this one okay you have to change the color okay then enter it in your desktop then come over here and center it okay now let's drop the tools and reduce this our date is too much we can even change the font character this one is not is not looking good at all okay it's not good at all okay now this is it okay let's bring it up okay let's leave it this way first then let's bring this one as well okay i think you need to change the font character okay let's place this as well 
then bring this one as well okay let's adjust our runner okay i think it's okay like this let's bring it down a little bit no it's too much oh okay it's okay like this now so the next thing we're gonna do now is that i'm gonna bring this down a little bit okay let's bring it down a little bit let's see okay i think it's okay that way let's shift this no i mean all of them okay let's shift it okay okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna draw a line okay you can see okay then drop it and bring it over here I'm trying to bring it over then bring it over here then go over to this properties bar and click over here then type 90 and enter it okay so that you'll be in a straight line like this okay let's bring it down okay and shift it up like this okay And let's start from here first okay let's see let's reduce it a little bit okay then increase it over here okay i think i need to increase it now okay let's leave it this way okay let's leave it this way so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna come over here and click okay then click on this one maybe on this on this one then come over to this our hairline and click okay let's change it to four it's too spaced out so we have to go back to this okay let's go back here and click this one i think this one is more preferable so we need to duplicate this okay we need to duplicate this by holding your shift by clicking on this then holding your shift in your desktop and right click okay now this is it let's shift it okay now the next thing is to group these two lines now okay by highlighting it then come over to this place and group it now this is it so this one now we're gonna bring it over here again and paste it okay now this is it the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna work on this our test now that we'll put down okay let's face to page okay we're gonna work on this our test let's increase this more okay now it has been changed now let's change the font character the color and many more of them so i think we start from here or from here okay let's start from here let's change the font character first let's start with this one okay Let's change it to maybe impart first. Okay, let's change it to title case, upper case. Okay, I think let's drop this. Okay, I think okay, let's increase the outline first by coming over here right click then come you need to increase it by clicking over here okay then come over to this our corner you can see wait 
this is where we need to change then click over there come down and change maybe to four let's try four then come here and change okay you can see what i'm doing then click over there now let's leave it this way so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna change the font character for this one as well okay by highlighting it you can see then let's go over here to check the one that we may like okay i think we should try this first okay then we need to change it to uppercase title case okay okay by clicking over there okay then come over here change to case title case okay now this is it let's reduce it a bit okay and shift it up a little bit okay i think it's okay this way then let's shift this as well okay it's okay like this now the next one we're gonna do now is this one we have to change it to title case first okay okay now let's change this one to uppercase by going over here okay come down here then click over here okay now let's change the font character okay let's still make use of this our in cards okay now the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna change this one as well okay then click over here okay this is it let's drop this and bring it over here okay now let's bring this and shift it okay no i think let's leave it this way first then the same thing is applicable here let's title case okay you can see now the font character let's highlight this and choose our font character maybe this okay then you have to make this title key by going over here click here upper case okay now this is it then the same thing is applicable here you need to change the font character then come over here okay let's use this i think it's okay so we need to reduce this let's choose the size we make use of okay okay maybe this is okay 13 6 24 okay let's use the same here 13 6 24 okay 13 6 24 okay 13 point six twenty four. okay let's see okay i think you need to change the color of this i mean this it's in particular should be this okay the same thing is applicable here let's increase the outline maybe let's apply white then come over to this our headline and click on it then come over to this our width and change it over here then let's use for then come over to here behind then click on it Come over here too and click on it then okay it now this is it the same thing will be applicable here so let's try the same thing here let's bring the outline over here by right clicking come over to this our head now okay then the width you change it maybe to four as well then come over to behind okay okay then come over here and click okay 
now i think it's okay like this now okay let's drop this so the next thing we're gonna do now is that this we need to increase and we need to change this as well we need to change this we need to change this font character it's not it's not good at all so let's change it by highlighting then come over here maybe we should try this as well banquet okay i think it's okay and it's beautiful as well okay let's fix the page okay okay this is it now let's go let's go this one in particular okay okay i think it's okay like this you have to fix this to center okay okay i think it's okay okay now we need to leave it this way so the next thing we're gonna do now let's see fix the page let's see how it looks like okay i think it's okay like this now let's drag this up a little bit let's scale it up okay okay I think it's okay like this harvest of the unstoppable blessing okay i think it's okay this way you should maybe you should change the font the character the font character of this let's change the color first okay i think this one is okay okay let's check this by clicking over here okay let's change the font the color of this one maybe let's no 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 then make the outline this let's see i think it's more beautiful like this okay then let's bring this down a little bit okay okay i think it's okay like this now so guys this is how to design simple church envelope this is how to design simple church envelope let's give this maybe a color like this okay let's give it maybe this then give this this okay let's use in part as well then give this okay in part as well then drop it okay i think it's okay this way so guys this is how to design short envelope okay so if you watch and like my videos please like subscribe and share and share with your friends share with anybody that you know that is interested in learning graphics design please do not forget to turn on your notification bell We'll continue next in our next video. See you guys in our next video. Thank you.